So hello everyone, welcome again to this amazing online platform Narayan Aidu Hub. So in the last class we were discussing about subsets and power set and I think that was clear to you, right? Now in this class we will be discussing uh, A minus B, A difference B you can say and Cartesian product of two sets A cross B, right? But for that, before that we should know the ordered pair. Okay, so I will start order there. Next point, I think that is F for order there. Okay, so by name it's clear. Air is pair means two elements. Okay, order means they have the order. Or you can, you can say the order is important. Order is important means if this is this is black and this is blue, then this is you know one order. And if I replace this is another order. Okay, and these things you will be using throughout maths, especially in permutation and combination. So remember, order means the sequence is important. This is different order. This is different order. Okay. So, ordered pair we write like this in a small bracket a comma b. This is one ordered pair. Okay, means it has two elements. The order is this. Okay, and the most important thing I told you, this ordered pair a comma b is not equal to b comma a. Right? Okay, is not equal to this. They can be equal, they will be equal only when, only when A becomes B, only then, okay? If A comma B is equal to B comma A, this means this will happen only when A is equal to B, okay? Because then this is, you know, 1 in 1 and 1, 1 comma 1, and if you replace, even then that will remain 1 comma 1. Okay, so I think that is clear to you. So this thing should be very clear. Ordered pair is ordered. They have the proper sequence. Okay. And you must have seen so many times examples of this in coordinate geometry. In coordinate geometry on XY plane, we write X comma Y. X on the first place, Y a coordinate on the second place. Okay, so x comma y is x comma y, right? Means if I say 1 comma 2, ordered pair 1 comma 2, I write the coordinates like this in the form of ordered pairs, then 1 comma 2 is 1 comma 2 means x is 1 and y is 2, not otherwise, okay? Right? So that is very important and then if I say x comma y is equal to a comma b, x comma y is equal to a comma b, this ordered pair is equal to this order. This means two equations, two conditions. This means as equal x is equal to a and y is equal to b. Okay, so one ordered pair will give you two conditions, right? So this thing you have to remember. This thing you have to remember. Okay, so sometimes, especially in the books of you know, little kids means in your school books. Okay, they will they will be giving you examples like you have two x plus one comma y minus one is equal to this. Okay, three comma two, and then find x, find y. Then you can easily find. You can easily find. You can say you will write two x minus one will be three means 2x equal to 4 means x equal to 2 and y minus 1 is equal to 2 means y is equal to 3 okay because you will be getting two equations so how many unknowns they can give you right exactly two unknowns they can give you because from two equations you can find two unknowns Normally, there are special cases when from one equation we can find many variables, 
those are special cases that we will be discussing especially in you know 12th class and some problems in 11th class okay such questions come in IIT exam that is a different thing but otherwise normally okay if uh, you have two unknowns you should have two equations to solve them okay you know how to solve two linear equations like that okay so this was about the ordered pair i think things are clear to you okay everything should be very clear to you okay so just write these points okay you should remember everything very properly because these things we will be using everywhere right okay so now we will start next point Okay, so now we will be discussing Cartesian product, Cartesian product of two sets. Okay, so Cartesian product is written like this A cross B. Okay, again the sequence is important. Okay, sequence is important. Right, A cross B, if I write A cross B, this will give you what? This will give you a set of ordered pairs set of ordered pairs x comma y such that such that the first element will belong to first set and the second element will belong to second set like this okay this is the definition so okay set of all the ordered pairs where first set for sorry, first element will be of first set and the second element will be of second set, right? So, like example, if I take set A as A comma B, right? Set B as let's say one two three, then A cross B will be set of all the ordered pairs formed by these and these elements where first element belongs to first set, second element belongs to second set. So, ordered pair of A comma 1, ordered pair of A comma 2, ordered pair of A comma 3, right? Then, ordered pair of B comma 1, B comma 2, B comma 3. These are the ordered pairs. This is a cross. Okay. And here you can see, you can see the elements are not A or 1. The elements of this set are ordered pairs. These ordered pairs. Elements are the ordered pairs. Okay. Means you can write from this you can write okay this is one element this belongs to a cross b okay this belongs to a cross b this belongs to a cross b this belongs to a cross b okay but if i say if i say okay a belongs to A cross B, then that will be obviously wrong. That will be wrong. This is not right, right? A does not belong. The elements are these sets. These sets. Sorry, these ordered pairs. Ordered pairs are the elements of this. Okay. A, B are the elements of A. 1, 2, 3 are the elements of B. But the elements of A cross B are these ordered pairs. I think that is clear to you. Okay. Now you have to remember, you should know. Okay. A cross B 
a cross b okay won't be equal to b cross a because when we take b cross a the first element will belong to b okay the first element will become 1 2 3 not a okay so this has to be clear to you okay is not equal to b cross a in general in particular cases that can be equal but in general this is not equal a cross b is not equal to b cross a okay and obviously okay when a becomes b that will be they will be equal that is quite obvious that's another thing because both are a cross a in that case okay but i am saying in general they are not equal Okay, so this thing you have to remember a cross b means a cross b, first set is a. When we write b cross a, the first set is b, not a. Is that clear? Okay. And the second most important result in this is number of elements. Number of elements. In a cross b. Number of elements in A cross B. Okay? In A cross B. Right? So, how many elements in A cross B? So, here you can see this had two elements, this had three elements. So, how many ordered pairs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Which is actually two into three. Because you know, this element will make 3 pairs, this element will make 3 pairs, so 3 plus 3 will become 3 into 2. Simple column of, you know, permutation and combination. Okay, these things we will be doing later on in the topic, in the chapter, permutation and combination. But here, things are very easy, you can understand easily, right? So, how many elements in A cross B equal to number of elements? in A into number of elements elements in B right so if somebody is having A has N elements okay and B has M elements so N into N right or you can simply write N A into N B N A into N B. N A means number of elements in A. N B means number of elements in B. So this is the number of elements in A cross B. And the number of elements in A cross B will be equal to will be equal to number of elements in B cross A because you can understand. Okay? Number of pairs will be same. Whether you do 2 into 3 or you do 3 into 2, okay, a value will be same. Right? Okay? So this was Cartesian form. 